Chibi chabi chabi Chibi chabi chabi Chibi chabi chabi Chibi chabi chabi Hey everyone, welcome to the Jaden Stitches Show and Merry Christmas in July! We decided it was high time we added another little character to our Chibi Chubby Tubby Amigurumi collection. So today we are going to make a miniature Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Obviously this little guy makes a really cute stuffed toy and he's the perfect size for a stocking stuffer or even a present topper. But I love to use Christmas as an excuse to make little stuffed toys because if you add a string you can hang them on the tree. Or no string and just plunk them on a shelf or add them to a Christmas display. They don't take very long to make, as stuffed toys go, and they're small, so they don't use up much yarn either. So, let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, we'll head on over to the craft table, and we will stitch up a chibi chubby tubby Rudolph together. In order to make our little Rudolph, I'm using a size 4 medium weight acrylic yarn. You need less than 20 yards for the main color, uh, just a handful of yards for the contrasting color and a tiny little bit of white for his tail and the little highlights in his ears So not very much yarn. You can also stuff him with stuffing or leftover scraps of yarn That's what I'll be stuffing my little reindeer with today You want a pair of scissors a yarn needle the hook we're using is a 4.5 millimeter also known as a 7 in the US and in the UK and for his eyes and his nose I'm using little plastic round beads. I've got a red bead for his nose and two black beads for his eyes. I'll be attaching them with a sewing needle and some thread. You can use thread or embroidery floss, whichever you've got handy, or if this is just going to be hanging on the tree or sort of sitting somewhere on your house as a little decoration, um, you can glue gun the nose and eyes into place if you want to, or use fabric glue. You don't have to sew them in. I sew them in though in case this little guy becomes a toy, because sewing them down makes it a little more sturdy. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. Please visit our shop and purchase a pattern. It helps support our show. And we'll put a link to our shop in the description box down below. We're going to take the main color we're making our reindeer out of, and we're going to begin with a cinch circle. Once you've chained one to secure your circle, we're going to single crochet six into it. So six single crochet, all worked into our little cinch circle. Make sure you're working over top of that short tail because that's how we're going to cinch the circle shut when we're done. Once you have six single crochet worked into your cinch circle, grab the short tail, cinch it up nice and tight. You can work over top of your little tail or you can just leave it to the back because it will end up just inside your little stuffed toy so you don't really have to worry about weaving it in. That was round one. We've got six stitches at the end of round one. We're going to change that to 12 now for round two. So we're going to work two single crochet into each of those six stitches. That will leave us with 12 single crochet at the end of row two. At the end of row or round two, you'll have 12 stitches. We're going to continue working in the round now. We're not joining our rows with a slip stitch. There's no joining, you're just continuing to work in the round. I'm going to keep that little tail out of the way. We're still increasing. We're going to go from 12 to 18. So we're going to work two single crochet into the first stitch and a single crochet into the next stitch. So two, one, two, one, all the way around. You're going to repeat that little two single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet once into the next stitch for a total of six times. Six times three is 18. So at the end of row three, you'll have 18 stitches. At the end of row three, you'll have 18 stitches. And now for rows four through nine, you're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So each row, rows four through nine, will have 18 stitches in it. So no more increasing and no decreasing yet. There's no joining of rows. You just keep single crocheting in each stitch around and around and around until you have nine rows 
total. And I'll show you how that looks when we get there. At the end of row 9, you should still have 18 stitches all the way around. And the way to count it up is to find row 1, so that little round circle here. There's where it turns into row 2. And I just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, that's what I consider the starting point of row 1 turning into row 2. So I want to make sure that my last row is even with that beginning point. So if you have to just single crochet a couple more times, 2, 3, even 4 times, just so that you're right in alignment with that little starting point. It's not going to change your stitch count. And you can just kind of keep looking at it, run your thumb up, and that should make it for a nice even top to your little stuffed toy. Now we're going to close in a little bit. So this is a row of decrease. We're going to repeat this little pattern six times in total. We're going to single crochet the first two stitches together. So you do that by picking up a loop in each of those first two stitches. Yarn over, back through everything. That's single crochet, two stitches together. Single crochet once into the next stitch. And you're going to do that five more times. Single crochet the first two stitches of the set together. Single crochet once as normal into the stitch after that. So we're going to go from a stitch count of 18 down to 12. Once we're down to 12 at the end of row 10, you're going to pull up on the loop of your working uh, yarn there. Put your hook aside. We're going to take a moment to just stuff our little chibi chubby bodies. I'm going to use chopped up bits of yarn. So this is sort of the tail ends of yarn when I finish something and I trim it and maybe I've got some yarn left over. I just stick it all into a little container and I just keep it for little projects like this so that I'm not necessarily throwing anything out. And it makes really good stuffing. Once you've stuffed up your little body, you don't want to overstuff it. It should still be a little on the squishy side, but it should just sort of, your stuffing should just come to the sort of the top edge of your last row. We can put our hooks back into our loops. And now we're going to create the little top ear section of our reindeer. So we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. This is going to close off what was row 10. And now row 11 is the little ears. So we're going to pinch the top of our little stuffed toy together. And you want to make sure that your stitches kind of pair up. So there's the next stitch we would naturally be working into is this one. And it should be right against a stitch. It should have a stitch right opposite it. So we're, we're going to half double crochet through that set of stitches. So it's a bit, just stick your hook through that next stitch and the one right behind it. Should look something like that. So half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet through the same set of stitches. So the second one's always easier to do. Just stick it right through both sets of stitches. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into that first set of stitches. That's our first little ear. Now we're going to slip stitch across the next three sets of stitches. So hook goes through both sides. Make sure you're getting all loops on both of those stitches. Slip stitch. Next set. And the third set. There we go. And that leaves two stitches sitting opposite each other and one little guy on the end. Just ignore him. Through that last set, you're going to half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet all through that same set of stitches. That's ear number two. And before we finish, we're going to slip stitch back through the same place. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, slip stitch, into that last set. And that gives you a little body with ears and all of our stuffing is neatly contained inside. You can cut your yarn, fasten off, nice and tight, flip them over, grab your yarn needle, and we're just going to 
pull the tail in through a few stitches across the back of his ears. So if you've got any like little holes or anything, like let's say you were stitching and some, some little spaces opened up between your stitches, this is a good opportunity to just close up those holes. So I'm just gonna run my needle underneath some of those stitches, pull the yarn through, Make sure I don't tug my ears out of alignment. So I'm gonna look at it from the front again. That looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to pull the rest of the yarn into the body of the amigurumi. And this is something we're going to repeat over and over and over again as we add little bits and pieces. You don't have to do crazy knotting and tons of weaving. You just weave it through a few stitches and then pull the rest into the body. And then you can stick your needle in, wiggle it around, and you'll pull the rest of that tail in. And it just acts like more stuffing. And there we go. Body complete. Next, we're gonna make his little antlers. So whatever color you're using for his antlers, you're gonna grab that now. And you're gonna make two absolutely identical. So everything we do for the first antler, you're gonna do exactly the same for the next antler. We're gonna begin with a slip knot on our hook. We're gonna chain seven. So you've got seven chains there. You're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and into the third chain from the hook. So slip stitch into the second and third chains from the hook. That creates the first little part of his antler. Chain two. Skip over the first chain, slip stitch back into the second chain from the hook. That brings us right back up to that part of the antler. And into that space, that chain where you anchored the first little bit of his anchor, you're going to slip stitch in there as well. There we go. So now you've got, looks a little bit like a Y. You're going to slip stitch into the next chain down the length of the antler. And then we're going to create one more little antler bit, <laughs> prong, I think. We're going to chain two, Skip the first chain from the hook, slip stitch into the second chain that's right up against the main base of chains. Slip stitch into the same place, so the same chain that we just left from. So that gives us three prongs now. And then you've got three chains left down the length of the antler. Just slip stitch back into each of them. One, two, three. There we go. And that's three prongs on an antler. You can cut your yarn. You don't need very long tails. Fasten off. And now you're gonna make another one exactly like the first. We're going to attach our little antlers now. So grab the first one. And they're both going to be anchored around a couple of sets of stitches in between the ears. So I like to grab the ones that are right up against each ear. Doesn't matter which direction you have your antler face. So I like to have them both kind of, sort of both the flat sides facing forward or both the bumpy sides facing forward. So you can decide which way you want your antlers to sit. And I'm just going to take my yarn needle and pass it through the set of stitches right next to the first ear. I'm gonna grab one of the tails left on my antler, pull it through. And then I'm going to take my needle, push it through the slip stitch at the base of the antler, grab that tail again, and just pull it through. So now it's sort of anchored there. I'm gonna do the same thing. So through the same place with the other tail. And then back through the base of the antler. So just a couple of stitches. I'm just using the little leftover tails. And that guy's on there pretty good. Now, 
I'm going to just run one tail underneath the base of one of the stitches. This is just to sort of spread out the bottoms of the tails a little bit and I'm going to knot them both together. So just a simple old granny knot, left over right, pull it tight, right over left, nice and tight, and then I'm going to take my needle and right where one of the stitches comes out, I'm just going to poke my needle in there into the body, grab both of those ends, thread them through here, and just pull them into the base of the body. Pull up on my antler a little bit, wiggle my needle around, and there's antler number one. <laughs> Cute. Go ahead and add the second antler right next to it and that's the antlers done. Next we're going to make this little tail. I, it's one of the things I love about deer is that they have this little white tail that flashes when they run away. So I had to give them a little white tail. This is really really quick. We're going to start with a slip knot on our hook. We're going to chain three. We're going to skip the first chain from the hook, slip stitch into the second chain, so the second chain away from the hook, and then into the last chain we're going to half double crochet. And that's it, just a little hint of a tail, a little tiny triangle, you can snip your yarn, fasten off, grab your yarn needle. And you want to make sure that, so there's the front of my little body, so my antlers sort of sit behind it. This is the back where they kind of are growing out of the top of his head. And we're just going to attach our little tail to the bottom of his body. So right above where he would sort of sit. So if you go one, two, three, there's the third row. You want to just put it in the bottom middle, anchor it to the bottom of the fourth row of the body. So the flat part of the triangle is facing down, the pointy part's facing up towards his antlers. And we're just going to pick up a little loop on the body and go through the bottom of the tail, thread up one of those tail ends. And then we're just going to do it twice. So pick up another loop on the body through the other end of the tail. Doesn't take much to keep these little pieces on. There we go. You can just slip the other tail of the uh, the tail of the tail <laughs> in through a loop on the bottom of the body and just knot the two ends together. Nice and tight. And then same thing, you're going to poke your needle into the body, grab both those ends. Thread them up, you can do them together or one at a time, whichever your needle allows, and just pull them in to the body. Wiggle your needle back and forth, that pulls them inside, nice and neat and tidy. Might have to go at it from a different direction sometimes. Or just grab it and <laughs> weave it in the old-fashioned way. Oh wait, I think I got it. There we go. Yep. <laughs> and there's his little triangular tail anchored at the bottom of his body, bottom back. He's all ready to run away. Now Rudolph needs his nose, so we're going to make a little snout for him. And if you like, you can make it the same color as the body, or you can make it a contrasting color. I'm not sure which I like better. I think they're both... <laughs> Awfully darn cute. I'm going to use the same color because it's nice and light and it's easy to demonstrate with. We're going to begin with a cinch circle. This one's a little smaller than the one we began the body with. Once you've chained one to secure your circle, you're going to single crochet four times into that circle over top of that little short tail. So just four single crochet to start with. We're going to pull that tail nice and tight, 
So round one is just four little tiny single crochet. Again, you can just leave that little tail hanging in the back. We're working in the round, so we're not joining with a slip stitch. And we want to increase from four stitches to six. So you're going to slip your hook through that first stitch and you're going to single crochet two times into it. So two single crochet into that first stitch. It's pretty small, so take your time. One single crochet into the next stitch. If you have to, you can just sort of like bend it back over top of your finger a little bit just to get to the next stitch a little easier. Two single crochet into that next stitch. And one single crochet into the last stitch. So now you have six stitches at the end of row two of our little snout. And we're just going to do a row of single crochet. So you're just going to single crochet into each of those six stitches all the way around. So just count to six if you have to. That's the end of row three. You should still have six stitches. We're just going to single crochet once more into the next stitch just to even off the end of it. And then we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch to finish the row. That's the little snout made. You want to leave yourself a longish tail, maybe 15 centimeters, six inches, somewhere around there. Pull that nice and tight. You can take that tail and just stuff it into the inside of the snout. It's going to act like a little bit of stuffing and that's all the stuffing you need. And then we're going to add his little red nose before we sew the snout on to his face. I like to thread up my yarn in my needle, pair up both the ends together, and then just knot the ends together by wrapping it around my finger, rolling it off, and then pulling that knot nice and tight. So now I've got a double thread to work with. I'm going to take my little snout and I'm going to look at it and I want the bit where row one sort of sort of points up a little bit. It should be kind of opposite where your ending string is. The one part of your nose will look like it's just a little bit triangular. So I'm going to take my needle, poke it through the actual yarn from the inside, right at the top there, thread up my bead, and then I'm just going to simply sew it to the top of that little sort of peaky bit of the nose. The nose sort of just pokes out a little bit, kind of rises up. I'm just going to sew it a few times. I doubled up my string. It's got a little bit more thickness to it. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. Poke it right back through to the inside and then you can just snip it and knot it or you can knot the two ends together or you can if you have a lot of yarn or thread left over you can just create a knot, a sewing knot. And I'm just going to work it right through a piece of the yarn. One little knot will be enough. I'm going to snip my needle out of there. Pull that thread. So I've got a nice little knot. It's actually attached to a piece of that tail. That's not going anywhere. And then I can just shove the whole thing back into the center of my nose or my little snout. And that's my bead on there, nice and tight. Now we can sew the finished snout to the front of our little Rudolph. You're going to take your snout and you're going to find the middle of his face. It's probably about three full rows down, about the middle, wherever you think his little snout should sit. Try to center it, hold it or pin it into place. And then I'm going to take my yarn needle, I'm going to pick up a loop on the body and the first loop along the side, or the first full stitch along the side of the snout, thread up that long tail we left, and then I'm just going to sew all the way around it to the center of the face of my little reindeer. And this is something you can just sort of take, pick up the corresponding stitch. Make sure you don't pull any of your stuffing out. Pause after every stitch just to make sure your little nose isn't moving. You want to keep it sort of nice and centered. And you're going to do that all the way around. Now 
Once you've sewn all the way around his little snout, and it's on there <laughs> nice and firm, you can go ahead and make a little knot at the bottom. So just a simple little knot. Nothing fancy. Make sure you pull it and tighten it up against the bottom of the snout. And then you're just going to poke your needle right through, right near where you made the knot at the bottom of his snout, right through the whole body. Just pull that in there. Your little knot disappears. And then same thing, you can just wiggle your needle back and forth to pull that yarn into the body. Next, we want to sew on his eyes. So same thing, you thread up a tail of thread. I'm using black in this case, not the two ends together, so you have a nice double length. I went a little longer this time. <laughs> and you can take your needle and just pass it inside some of the stitches, come out through the yarn. So try to get through the actual yarn, not through a space, but through the yarn, because you want the knot to anchor behind the yarn itself just sort of out the top edge of where his little snout is and pull that in so that your little tail disappears into the body but doesn't want to come out through the yarn. You can thread up that first button or bead I should say and we're going to just hop over a couple stitches go through the nose section out the other side so out the other side where I kind of want the other eye to sit pull that one into place, thread up the next one, there we go, and uh, I'm going to just, where do I want him to sit? That looks good right there, so I'm actually going to go underneath it this time, and as you sew, so you go all the way through the nose, so all the way through the other side, you can kind of use the first few stitches to make sure his little eyes are sitting on either side of his nose where you want them to. So pull tightly and then back through the first bead out the other side. And then back through the second bead. and out the other side. And you're going to do this a few times. You want to make sure those eyes are on there nice and solid. And you can keep kind of, I like, I like them sitting kind of close together on his little nose. Three, four times back and forth. There you go. And once you think they're on there and they're not going to come off, you can make a simple little knot by just, I like to run my needle underneath some of the, the stitches along the side of the eye. Make a little tiny knot. Maybe do it twice just because it's sewing thread. There we go. And then I'm going to poke my needle in next to the eye Push it all the way through. Be very careful. You don't want to poke yourself. Oh, there it is there. Push it all the way through the body. You're going to grab stuffing, extra string. It's going to get kind of tangled up in there, which is what you want. And then you can trim it wherever it comes out. There we go. And that's his eyes on. So we've got his eyes. We've got his nose on his snout. We've got his two little antlers, his little tiny tail. And Rudolph is ready to join the rest of his pack. Or I suppose that's herd. <laughs> A trio of reindeer. <laughs> this little herd is all ready to decorate for the holidays, whether you want to do it now or closer to Christmas. We hope you enjoyed making this along with us today, and we will see you soon here on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.